the end result was when he's saying that they had to bring with them uh, a whole batch of um, agricultural products and you don't want to eat them en route because you won't have them to plant when you get here. But they didn't necessarily starve to death as we're discovering that uh, the fish in the, the, the oceans now are terribly overfished. And we've had a number of people reconstruct what the original ecology of all the, the fish were here. And they figured that anybody with a bent pin could have caught enough fish to last them on any voyage whatsoever because there were so many more fish um, prior to European fishing techniques. And so they probably didn't starve to death very often. That would be a rare thing. However, water was a problem. And they had to sail through what we call the doldrums which is where the uh, water evaporates, there's no wind, and it goes up and creates the, uh, or partially creates the weather system of the planet. And so when you go across that, your, your, your transport speed is greatly reduced, and there's where you're gonna miss the rain. So that's where the dying of thirst is probably much more likely than anywhere else. But their canoes had to be incredible just had to be incredible. Mm -hmm. Our best estimate on the best and finest canoes are that they could carry, and this, this comes from Fiji, not rather than anywhere else, um, they had canoes that could carry 300 people plus food and had several decks and were more than 100 feet long. Pretty really impressive kind of thing. So the oldest of the Polynesians probably had life pretty good and pretty well planned out.